Hello everyone, and welcome to Pulp Crazy. I'm Jason Aiken. This week's episode is the last one until Christmas, so I thought it would be appropriate to highlight my favorite Christmas time pulp story. A tale that chronicles the secret history of Santa Claus. Rhodes written by Seabury Quinn, with remarkable illustrations by Virgil Finley. Rhodes first appeared in the January 1938 issue of Weird Tales, but it's been reprinted several times since then, most notably as a novelette by Arkham House in 1948. A facsimile of the Arkham House edition was produced by Red Jacket Press in 2005. This is the version I read, but I would recommend getting the Kindle version now, since the Kindle version is only $2.99. While the facsimile is nice to look at, the story itself is rather short, so I find the $29.95 cover price a bit steep on that. At the time I purchased this, there was no other alternative. And to be honest, $2.99 for this on the Kindle is a real steal. I think of Rhodes as the secret origin of Santa Claus, so to speak. The novelette follows the life of Klaus, starting in the year of Christ's birth. Klaus is a giant, blond-haired northern barbarian who was enslaved as a gladiator under the reign of King Herod. He is skilled with a large, two-handed sword, but also uses an axe and his bare hands to defeat his enemies. After winning his freedom, he starts his trek back to his northern home. Fate, however, intervenes, and he finds himself saving an infant from the king's men. The infant turns out to be the baby Jesus, who is able to communicate with Klaus through telepathy. For saving him, he makes Klaus immortal and seems to have a plan for the former gladiator. The story is told in three parts, chronicling different periods of Klaus's life. The first part is Klaus saving the baby Jesus. The second part deals with Klaus witnessing the crucifixion, and the finale sees Klaus fulfilling his destiny. The novelette takes place from the year of Jesus' birth to at least the mid-1550s. Jesus, as mentioned, is featured in the first two parts. And in the last two parts, Una, the future Mrs. Claus, appears. While there are weird and supernatural elements to this story, such as telepathy, elves, immortality, Quinn also makes use of history. Many key historical characters play a part in the story as well. One aspect I love is Quinn's depiction of Klaus. The action scenes and some of Klaus's dialogue really reminds me of Robert E. Howard's work. I'll quote three different passages to give you a taste for how he writes Klaus. In a scene where Klaus looks into the sky, The dragon marches low upon the skies, he muttered. Tis time I set forth on my journey, if I would reach the homeland, ere the winter tempests howl again. As Klaus is killing the soldiers who threaten the baby Jesus, he utters this line. 
A for the song of the sword. A for the red blood flowing. A for the lay storm maidens. Sing of heroes in Valhalla. Chanted Klaus. And as he sang, he struck, and struck again, and his gray steel blade drank thirstily. After Klaus is thanked for saving the baby Jesus, he says this, Methinks the sword will sing its song, and many more like these will journey to the storm land, ere they hang me on the doom tree. Quinn really does a great job in peppering the different religions into the story, as well as the fantasy elements surrounding Santa Claus himself, such as the elves, the North Pole, the toy making, as well as the magic sleigh and reindeer. The late science fiction historian Sam Moskowitz hailed Rhodes as the greatest adult Christmas story written by an American. I have to agree because it's certainly the best that I've read. Seabury Quinn had more stories appear in Weird Tales than anyone else, according to Weird Tales scholar Terence C. Hanley. However, Quinn is mostly known for his supernatural detective stories featuring Jules de Grandin, which are not easy to find. Rhodes at two ninety nine is a great way to experience some of his best work. If you are in the mood for some pulp fantasy this holiday season, I recommend you download the Rhodes ebook and give it a read. I downloaded it myself to check it out, and I'm happy to report it has all of the artwork by the legendary Virgil Finley included. It's a win win. Thanks again for watching, everyone. I hope everybody has a, ho a happy holiday season. Pulp Crazy is located at pulpcrazy.com. I'm at pulpcrazy on Twitter and facebook.com slash pulpcrazy. You can also email me at pulpcrazy at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching, and I hope everybody has a great holiday.